What's up guys, this is Adrian, the Web Scraping Guy, and today we are going to be talking about proxies. And there are two proxies that I use in two different ways that I use them. So I use them when I use the got scraping package as well as the fetch uh, package. And the two different proxies that I use are smart proxy. Smart proxy, uh, sometimes I use the residential ones, rarely though. Uh, mostly I will use the data center IP. Yeah, so really cheap. And the reason, and yeah, and I also use storm proxies. Storm proxies, really, really cheap. Really, really, really cheap. So I get the general dedicated proxies and I have the 30, 60 a month plan, which has been, I scrape a lot of stuff. Uh, that's been plenty for me. I would love to get this one, but can't justify it yet. Uh, so the reason you would have these, these are, um, I think they're like residential, although they're not like the best residential ones you can get. And they're unlimited bandwidth, which is crazy. Um, but that's a huge, any time I can, I use storm proxies because of the unlimited bandwidth. However, the smart proxy um, data center is really, really cheap. But if you use it like a lot, like I have millions of requests going right now, then uh, it drains pretty quickly. But yeah, if you make like hundreds of thousands, then it's like not that big of a deal. Like it gives you um, a lot. So. Anyway, how we set that up is, uh, I guess I'm just gonna show you, you'll be able to figure this out for either one of them, but this is actually storm proxy that I set these up with. So, let's get rid of this. So if you're using got scraping, which I recommend uh, to use a lot, if you're scraping difficult sites, like you might as well just use that uh, basically for everything. So in this case, we're gonna be scraping biz by cell and all you have to do is just pass in the proxy URL. That's another reason that you should use got scraping is to pass it in is really easy, but with fetch, you have to like download another package and yeah, it's just not as convenient. And to get the actual URL, like this is the URL right here. So it's HTTP, notice it's not HTTPS. Not exactly sure why the proxies do this, but none of the proxies actually are HTTPS. They're always just HTTP, which I'm not that well versed in proxies, so I, I don't know what's going on there. And then you just do username, colon, password, at the IP, and then the port. I think the port's always 3199. So whatever proxy service that you use, that's usually what they'll give you and that's all you have to do and then uh, pass that in there and then you get it so we can uh, demonstrate here and boom uh, let's see if we run it again it should probably rotate one eight five one nine blah, blah, blah. and yeah that rotated there we go so then Let's try it with fetch. So I have this function that I use and uh, you just pass in agent, that's before you have all of the headers. And then the agent is this object here. So you have to import HTTPS proxy agent. And I always like NPM installed this like at five, the fifth version. For some reason, the other versions don't work for me, for whatever reason. And then you just passed it in the host, which is the IP port, and then auth is user password, similar to how we set it up right here. So if we call this one, and we actually want to get that JSON. Boom. So we're in New Jersey. Boom, LA, New York. So that's it, that's how you set up a proxy and that's how you um, scrape a lot of information really quickly as you just yeah, auto rotate 
the proxies. So that's it.